I'm Andrew Lanetta. I'm from Syracuse, New York. I'm a graduate student at Syracuse University's Maxwell School. And uh, my idea is the tiny homes, big hearts. This is my home. Last year, I opened the doors to men moving out of the shelter system. Four men moved in with me. We formed a strong community founded in stability and support. For a few of the men, a stable, safe, and healthy living environment was the key to overcoming the shelter system. The home is now our home. In 2011, I began Pedal the Possibilities, an organization that offers group bike rides to the homeless. The program is facilitated at the Brady Faith Center, a community center on the south side of Syracuse where I sit as a board member. There are hundreds of vacant lots and tax delinquent properties in the city of Syracuse. The Greater Syracuse Land Bank, an organization dedicated to revitalizing these forgotten properties, has already acquired over 200. The continued growth of the land bank represents a city committed to using innovative strategies to solve a long-standing problem. With so much vacant land and desire to see it utilized, it is a shame that on any given day in Onondaga County, there are 424 individuals facing homelessness. Why can't this look like this? Why can't every vacant lot have a tiny home? We'll build the first on this 88 square foot trailer. Working with Syracuse School of Architecture students, I developed plans for home number one. While small, only 88 square feet, the home will have hot water, a shower, a composting toilet, a propane heater, a lofted bed, and plenty of storage. Further, it can be constructed for only $1,500. So here we are on one of the hundreds of vacant lots here in Syracuse. And looking forward, this is a model for how we can best house the homeless using these vacant lots, using tiny homes to really support men who are coming out of the shelter system. Um, I really think we can fast forward to a better model of housing Syracuse's homeless and utilizing vacant lots and tiny homes is the way to do it. This is the first one and I'm excited to see where it ends up and with the help of fast forward I'm sure we can get it off the ground and moving. Thank you.